The Ducks opened the 1990 season hosting San Diego State. Quarterback Bill Musgrave enjoyed one of his finest days, completing a career-high 31 passes in 46 attempts. Musgrave passed for three touchdowns and ran for another. He finished the day with an Autzen Stadium record 443 yards passing. The Ducks beat San Diego State 42-21. Game two saw the Ducks dominate Idaho. Oregon used its physical advantages on the line to overpower the Vandals in one of the best rushing efforts in Oregon history. Tailbacks Sean Burwell and Nalu Kelamini combined for 275 yards rushing and five touchdowns. Kelamini broke loose for his best day, 149 yards on 17 carries and two touchdowns. Burwell scored on three short runs and totaled 126 yards on 22 carries. The Ducks also discovered a fifth-year senior with some flash. Michael McClellan burst into the spotlight on special teams. McClellan returned an Idaho kickoff 89 yards for a touchdown. He later returned a punt for 29 yards, setting up another Oregon score. McClellan was named Pac-10 Special Teams Player of the Week. The Ducks beat Idaho 52-23. Game three was the toughest test so far. The Ducks at Arizona in their Pac-10 opener. Oregon nearly doubled the Wildcats in total offense, but the game will be remembered for one dramatic play. With seconds to go, fourth down on the one-yard line, the Ducks needed a touchdown to win. Musgrave, no, he didn't make it. Darrell Lewis makes the game-saving play. Arizona beats the Ducks 22-17. Conditions were perfect in week four. Sunny skies, a record crowd of more than 45,000 enjoying a 70-degree day as the Ducks hosted unbeaten Brigham Young. The Cougars featuring Heisman Trophy winner Ty Detmer. But Oregon is ready. The defense sends a message. Marcus Wood slammed Detmer to the turf for a safety. Oregon sacked Detmer six times. The Ducks intercept five passes, too. It's a school and Autzen Stadium record. Cornerback Daryl Smith picks off three himself and claims Pac-10 Defensive Player of the Week honors. It's one of the biggest wins in school history. Oregon 32, BYU 16. More defense in Game 5 as the Ducks hold Utah State to negative yards rushing until the fourth quarter. Defensive end Matt LeBounty adds to his school record sack total with two more. Sophomore Eric Castle continued his fine play with an interception as the Ducks forced four turnovers. Musgrave completed 15 of 23 passes, including one of the great plays of his career, connecting with Jeff Thomason for a touchdown. The Ducks win easily 52 to 7. Oregon's road to the Rose Bowl came to an end in Seattle in week six. Greg Lewis caught the Ducks napping on this 53-yard scoring run. Pac-10 champion Washington whipped Oregon 38-17. The Ducks bounced back from the Washington loss and put together a three-game winning streak, earning an invitation to the Freedom Bowl. Arizona State visited Autzen Stadium and with the Ducks trailing in the second half, freshman Brian Brown came up with a game-breaking play. Brown returning a Sun Devils punt 86 yards for the touchdown. Then Musgrave playing with a pulled stomach muscle, teamed with Joe Reitzig capping a 51-yard drive with a touchdown. With the lead, the defense does the rest. Steve Kemp intercepts a pass and runs it back all the way. 81 yards for the touchdown, Oregon beats the Sun Devils 27-7. In week eight, Oregon played perhaps its best football game of the season, shutting out Stanford, who had earlier beaten top-ranked Notre Dame. The defense controlled Stanford's touted passing game all afternoon. The Cardinal never got closer than the Oregon 34-yard line. 
three big first half plays put Oregon in complete control. Musgrave's 33 yard pass to Nalu Kelamini gives the Ducks an early lead. Later, Sean Burwell breaks free and runs 75 yards straight ahead for the touchdown. Oregon 31, Stanford nothing. The Ducks run their record to 6 and 0. The first Saturday in November brought UCLA to Autzen Stadium. The winner figured to be on the way to the Freedom Bowl. UCLA quarterback Tommy Maddox has a fine day. His 62-yard touchdown pass puts the Bruins up 24-13 in the fourth quarter. But Musgrave delivers some magic in the final minutes. He finds backup tight end Vince Ferry for the game-winning touchdown. It was Musgrave's last play at Austin Stadium. Two days later, the Ducks accept an unofficial invitation to the Freedom Bowl. The Freedom Bowl euphoria ended abruptly in Game 10 as the Ducks traveled to Cal and faced a Golden Bear team which resented being overlooked by the Freedom Bowl. The Golden Bears dominated play from the start, scoring three first quarter touchdowns. The beating was complete as Musgrave left the game with a bruised shoulder. The Bears rolled past Oregon 28-3. The Civil War at Oregon State saw the Ducks play without Musgrave and a host of top offensive players. With the pressure on, the defense rose to the occasion. Quarterback Devon Hosey making an early interception, giving the Ducks field position on a cold, wet afternoon in Corvallis. The stage was set for Ducks kicker Greg McCallum, who was perfect once again. McCallum booted a pair of field goals through the rain. The second one put the Ducks ahead to stay. The defense preserved the lead. All Pac-10 linebacker Peter Brantley made a big play in the fourth quarter, forcing a fumble and wiping out Oregon State's final scoring threat. With the final gun, the Ducks had completed another memorable year, finishing with an 8-3 record and their second consecutive bowl invitation, a first in school history. And if the odds makers are right, the Oregon Ducks will win their second straight bowl game today.